You're worried, I will regret this all in the morning. I can tell that's exactly what you think I think. Welcome to episode two of Hip as Heck. Uh, we're on our way right now to Somerville, South Carolina, to one of our Ow! favorite spots in uh, Coastal Coffee Roasters. Super happy to go down here because it brings back a bunch of really cool memories. Um, Ian and Adam have been going to this place for longer than I have, but they, they went the first time, just the two of them, because I was sick. And that was like, what, four years ago? Yeah, it was 2013. Wow, yeah, okay. so four years. Um, th another time we were heading down here was actually the first time we were just talking about, the first time we uh, really seriously talked about quitting our jobs. So this place definitely holds a special spot in our hearts. The, the people that convinced us to quit our jobs really, or just planted the idea in our heads, were Kate and Corey. Um, the day before we headed down to the, the Somerville show, Corey just was like, you want to quit your job, that's all you have to do is quit your job. So um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and yeah. we, we haven't had a job for two, over two years now, and we're still not dead. So continue to be not dead and to like being alive. <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> Follow who on what? High Beams on Spotify. I hear a new EP is coming out. And uh, it'll be there too, it'll right? It'll be there. Oh, wow. Instantly. What a great thing to know. You're full of information. Only certain kinds. Hey, Ian. Hi. Hello. Oh, God. You're the one that I depend on, you're the one I call a friend and you're the one that I call home. Thank you very much again. Oh, speaking of That's wives. What about. Speaking of wives, Ian just got engaged. <laughs> no wives, yeah, the fiance, speaking of fiance. died. Okay, got a new battery. In the camera. Just finished up our set at Coastal and a lot of people came out to see us and that's really cool. I had the best turnout we've ever had here. I would say 2,000 people and um, <laughs> it was maybe not 2,000 but it was it was the best and improvements good. It was the most fun I've ever had. The most I've ever sweated or sweat if every night was like tonight. That would be great. <laughs> One of the things we focused on earlier this year, or we wanted to focus on, was taking shows and spreading them out more and promoting more when we had a show that we thought was going to be really important. And this was a place where we first started noticing people were coming back to see us. And, you know, we, we kind of got comfortable in that, which we did with a lot of different places like Norcross or 45 South is a good example. But this time it had been a while and we promoted and I feel like I, almost everybody came out, and it was just, a, I'm really happy with how the show went. Like, right. we sold stuff, and it felt like we were a band, and like, you know, made more money from merch than, you know, any kind of tickets or anything, right. and, um, yeah. which is what a band should do. It just feels really good, and feels good to, um, having had our last time here not go super packed, it feels good to have brought it back. Like, we didn't just fail at right. Somerville. And so now, we're back! So where are we going next? Uh, we're going to Uncle Scott's house. And Uncle my, Scott. The, the Varns, they used to be our neighbors. And on a tour in Charleston, a tour of Charleston we did, we got to stay in his small apartment. But now we're going to get to stay in their family home. And it's going to be wonderful because I don't want to drive five hours <laughs> home tonight. Cheers.
Shout out Frothy Beard Brewery. The, the people here were closing up shop and they were just like, here's more. Here's two, beer, here's two more beers. So Adam's driving. Me and Ian are not driving. Welcome to the danger zone. I had a lot of fun tonight. A lot of people showed up just to see us again. And that's a crazy, crazy thought. And it's happening more and more frequently. It's a good reminder that we're doing the right thing. We promise to keep making silly videos. <laughs> right. Frothy beard, I, I wonder why they called it that. <laughs> Did you just dip your head in beer? Uh, I had a great time and everything went swimmingly. People came, but I didn't think about what you said, well, Stephen. Uh, making the same amount that we make at bars is huge. Oh, it's huge, and I, I didn't realize that was happening. And, is it, and is it are, huge? It's huge. Millions it's, of people came. Well, we were thinking, like, you know, we realized that we couldn't just make the jump from bars to only venues immediately. Like, it wasn't going to be just, like, the job thing. Because we didn't do that with our jobs either. And you we can't force fans to exist. Right? I'd also like to point out, this is, like, the fifth moment of clarity we've had outside of this exact space. Seriously. Yeah, this place is huge for us. The same way we worked full-time at a job while we were working our way into bar gigs until we had enough to where we could do it. We're doing that with venue gigs now to where we're just not advertising some of them and like trying to make the rest the right, promoted like, shows count. We would never advertise the fact that we were going to work at Outback. Why would we advertise the gigs that we're not proud yeah, of playing? Yeah, so this is two right. now that were our promoted gigs that uh, in my opinion were a success. We're working our way into doing what we wanted to do. And Me <laughs> meanwhile, we're about as broke as we've ever been. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now the hard work starts and we gotta make people actually keep, now we keep coming to shows on purpose. But okay, so we've been biding our time before we start heading the 30 minutes to Uncle Scott and, and Veronica's house. It's 11.15, so we're gonna start heading over that way. And uh, then we'll probably call it a night and a, uh, do a little outro bit. But until then, we're gonna listen to the rest of this audiobook we've been listening to. And... Uh, just continue having a great time. This is what it looks like to be on the road as three dudes in a van. Like When you just, have somewhere to sleep. Right, when you have somewhere to sleep. <laughs> it's a blast. And even when you don't have somewhere to sleep, it's also like just that extra level of adventure. All right, well, we were fortunate enough last night to be able to stay with some family friends, and they put us up on air mattresses in this awesome finished room. Uh, but now we got to go home because we got a show at Montana's. That's, that's where it's at. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching episode two. Hey, Heck. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for liking. Uh, we'll see you next week.